Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. Hopefully you guys are doing great. Hopefully you guys are just doing just amazing. Welcome back to my channel, guys. I have another graphics mod for you guys. This one's a free one. So hopefully, you know, if you don't like to pay for mods, this mod is for you. But look at this, guys. This looks insane. Like for the price, which is zero dot zero zero ninety nine. Whatever. You, know, you guys know what I mean, right? For zero dollars, guys, you can guys can get your game looking like this. And the best part of it all, guys, is that it's actually fairly simple to install. It's an OIV, and not only does it come with the installer, it also comes with the uninstaller in case you do want to uh, remove the mod. But guys, I'm gonna give you guys some glimpse of this graphics, guys. Look at this thing, man. Like. Look at the sun glare. I think that is just impressive. It makes this McLaren look absolutely stunning. We have a little bit of motion blur too, as you can see. I think this mod is definitely worth installing, guys. And just so you guys know, one of my subs, guys. So Frosty, uh, you know, you recommended this to me, guys. And you know, I appreciate you, man. I appreciate you guys always recommending mods to me, guys. And they mean to me. Look at that glare, though. Oh, my gosh. Look at that sun glare. That thing, that is insane. And then, as you can see, guys, there is a little bit of motion blur too. And then uh, take off the hood, take off the mini map, take off, you know, the, the hood. It looks like a movie. Like, this looks literally like a movie. So, yeah, what are you guys' thoughts on this? I think this looks so crazy. Uh, let me turn on a little bit of rain. All right, guys, so we turned it up a little bit to a nighter's side. So it's a little bit nighter now. It's a little bit darker. I should say not nighter, nighter is not a word. Um, but as you can see, guys, the rain. Look at the look at the drops on the, on the ground, too, guys. That is pretty, pretty crazy. Like, uh, this is actually... I don't know if you ask me guys this is competition to NVE and scene of realism which are, which are my two favorite graphics mods at the time dude look at this and my game is running like for me it's running perfectly smooth I think it's recording perfectly smooth I think it is yeah but yeah guys what do you think what do you guys think about this graphics man oh my gosh I need a new McLaren it's a little it's a little crash this McLaren looks absolutely stunning too man this oh my god you see that that lightning man that is so bright that is so bright. Oh, my McLaren. Poor McLaren. Oh, gosh. I'm a terrible driver. My McLaren is absolutely... So, this is daytime, guys. This looks so crazy, man. I, man, I'm not gonna lie. Graphics mods just take my breath, away, my breath away. And I'm always like, man, this thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. This thing is crazy. Well, it is just crazy to me, man. All right, let's put a little bit of sunny action, guys. Let's get out the McLaren. And look at this, guys. Crazy, ain't it? Crazy, crazy, crazy. And the name of the, of the mod too is called GTA 5 Remake. So, man, this almost looks like... This is something GTA 6 should look like, right? This is honestly what GTA 6 looks like. If it does not look like this, uh, Rockstar are doing something wrong. And we should definitely hire the developers of this graphics mod to, man, work for them. Because, Jesus, man, this thing looks absolutely stunning. It's crazy what people are doing with the graphics mods nowadays, man. It, it is just crazy to me. I actually want to drive down to the beach. I want to see what that looks like, and then uh, yeah, this is what the, this is what it looks like, guys. During during the day, I love it, man. I love it. I don't even know what's my favorite graphics mod at the time. There's just so many out there right now. Like, I really don't know what what is the better graphics mod. Right? You got NVE, you got Scene Realism, you have this, you have Visual Five, you have Redux. Like, man, at this point, <laughs> I don't know what I like better. Like, they all look stunning. Here's the interior, you guys. Looks like I'm actually jumping on McLaren. Well, I guess I am, but in the game. The only thing I will say is that this graphics mod, I feel like it does take a little bit of power. Um, but other than that, it should be fine. Uh, I Just so you guys know, I do have an RTX 3070, and I do have an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X, just in case you guys want to compare, right? So, you got the clouds, guys. The overcast, we got the rain. Again, the raindrops look really good. I like the rain on here. It looks pretty good with this graphics mod. We got the thunder, guys. Let's turn on. Let's make it a little bit nighttime now. And then, uh, oh my gosh, that is those line. The lightning is really bright. I don't know, like the sun glare is really bright. The thunder, the, sorry, the lightning is really bright. It's just, it looks, it looks really good. I have no complaints at all with this graphics mod, so I do recommend you guys installing, guys. Um, and I'll show you guys how to install it shortly. But I love just, you know, giving you guys some gameplay, just so you guys know what you're, you know, about to get yourself into. <laughs> Um, again, as always, guys, mod at your own risk, but uh, I, I don't see many problems happening with this graphics mod, but this is it right here, guys. Let me uh, let me go up to, like, the Ferris wheel, or not the Ferris wheel, like, yeah, the Ferris wheel, right? So if you guys want to make your game look like what I would say, GTA 6, guys, definitely install this mod. If you don't like it, um, 
just you could always uninstall it. But make sure you, I would make sure I don't have another graphics mod. Unless you guys want to feel, you know, experimental, go ahead and install or have another graphics mod installed and then install this one. Up to you guys, but I would not recommend it. That is just what I am saying. Oh my gosh, that car's really slippery. That's pretty much it for the graphics mod, guys. So I'm going to show you guys how to install it. Uh, it'll be a pretty short video, guys, and then uh, I'll be right with you guys, all right? All right, welcome back. So this is the mod. It's called GTV Remake. Um, just so you guys know, I do have Scriptic 5. I do have Scriptic.net, and I do have OpenIV installed. So make sure you have those installed before you continue with this mod. So let's go ahead and click download. As always, I will have this linked in the description, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and open it up. Make sure you do extract it, guys. All right, going to hit extract. There we go. And then uh, we should get another window. There we go. So my second monitor. So here you go, guys. Once you download the mod, you extract, you're going to get this window, right? Open it up. And then you are going to see this. So you can, it's up to you guys. You can do the manual install, which I will not be doing, but feel free to do it if you know what you're doing. The optional, it does come with the optional, which removes the motion blur. Um, I can show you how to install it. It's pretty simple, but I don't want, I'm not going to install it. Like, I, I didn't have that on. I, I like the motion blur, all right? Um, you have a couple screenshots. Pretty much the two files you're going to be messing with are these two right here, guys. So, you know, if you want to install this, you install this. And if you want to uninstall, you want you install the uninstaller. So let's go ahead and do that, guys. So I'm going to copy this path, guys. So again, uh, there might be other ways to do it, but it's just how I do it, guys. So I just highlight this whole path at the top, right? So location of the mod. I'm going to make sure I highlight the whole thing. I'm going to hit right click and hit copy, right? So now I go to Open IV. All right, so once you have Open IV installed, guys, go to Tools up top. Go to Package Installer. And then you are going to, again, up here, but you're going to paste a new location. There we go. Just like that. All right. So nothing really changed because it was already there since I just in installed it. So pretty much if you want to install the mod, guys, click on this remake, uh, GTA 5 remake installer.oiv. Hit open. And then you're going to get this window, guys. And then here, let me close on my game. Make sure your game is closed, guys, before you do any of these or you will get an error. And it won't let you install this. So I'm quitting my game now so I can actually install it again. It won't really affect me. I'm going to hit install, guys. Hit install. Make sure you do it on your mods folder just in case something goes wrong, guys. Uh, but that's a, that's pretty much how you install it. That's pretty much it. That's all I did. That's literally it. So once you do that, you can run the game. You, you should be good. Um, so as you can see that, now I would run GTA 5. But if you want to uninstall it, guys, again, same thing. Go to tools. Go to package installer. But instead of running the installer, you run the uninstaller. So just like that. All right. And then hit install. And it'll uninstall the mod. All right. And then if you want to take off the motion blur, go to optional and then install the no motion blur install. So hit open and then you install that in your mods folder just like that. But I'm not going to do that because I want it. So you just hit install and then click your mods folder. Right? That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think about this graphics mod. Do you like it better than Visual 5 or Redux? So this, those are probably the two more popular gra free graphics mods, I think. Uh, but let me know your thoughts, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. All right, take care.